Mm. Nearly all the body's uh, serotonin is produced in the intestine. It just happens mm. to it, it is rich in the, the type of cell that can produce it. And uh, with a bad diet, those cells multiply and can even form tumors. But in the average person, about 95% of our serotonin comes from the intestine mm. and then it's carried in the platelets in the bloodstream and uh, the lung uh, is where it's detoxified uh, the platelets uh, should not give up their serotonin uh, until they reach the lungs okay. but with uh, overwork uh, or various uh, things that produce inflammation the uh, uh, the whole lining of the circulatory system can be overexposed to uh, uh, serotonin, and the valve happens to get uh, both the, the stretching and the chemical huh. exposure. Okay. And uh, uh, hormonal situations that, uh, for example, cause you to hyperventilate and uh, not retain enough carbon dioxide will cause the platelets to dump out their serotonin and, and cause increased inflammation. Uh, so any uh, systemic stress that um, causes a loss of carbon dioxide will increase that. Mm. And uh, diabetes happens to uh, uh, be a failure to uh, oxidize sugar properly and instead it turns sugar to lactic acid, and the lactic acid displaces uh, the carbon dioxide, and uh, the loss of carbon dioxide causes serotonin exposure. Yeah. Do you think that uh, you could measure the serotonin on the breath as a, uh, a marker of how stressed somebody is? I wonder if there's any easy... Do you know of any... any um, uh... Uh, yeah, you can measure almost anything in the breath uh, with the right apparatus, but since uh, serotonin acts partly through the stimulation of nitric oxide mm -hmm. in any cell that it's irritating, uh, the, the, uh, the process of forming inflammation and fibrosis under the influence of serotonin involves the local increase of nitric oxide and being a gas, nitric oxide is easy, easy to see in the breath. Okay. And so they're uh, analyzing a person's health just by uh, measuring the amount of nitric oxide in the breath. Yeah. 